Hi Cancer, this is Rose Burnett from Mind, Body, Soul Balance and this is your extended monthly tarot reading for May 2018. It is a general reading so take from it what you will and uh, yeah, leave the rest. If you want a personal reading with me and tune to your own energy and circumstances, the link for that is in the description box below as well as on this video. I am doing a special this month so that uh, if you want a 30 minute pre-recorded reading with me, uh, it's just $50, so you get to ask a couple of questions to do with anything really in terms of love and romance or uh, wealth and abundance, finances, career, whatever it is that's uh, troubling you at the moment or you want more guidance on. Uh, yeah, so just uh, follow the link on this video or in the description box to get a personal reading with me. Now, I am outside, so I will warn you, the energy is amazing, but uh, there is a little bit of background noise. Um, you can hear that squeaking. I um, apologise already for that. It's a one blind squeaking. You can't do much about it. Um, there's also some birds. We get the random bird. Occasional car go past here, but it's so beautiful, the energy out here. All right, so first up, I'm going to pull you a card from the Heart and, Heart and Soul deck by Tony Carmine Salerno. So let's see what's happening with you, Cancer. In May 2018, what does Cancer need to know? Wow. Have a look at this one. All right, and what it says, Cancer, is from your soul's perspective, this life is just a page in a never-ending story where you and those around you all have a specific role to play. Yet remember this role is not the real you. For you are much more than your personality and current circumstances. Your true immortal self cannot be defined. Beautiful. Beautiful. Show it to you one more time. All right, so if you've been worrying about uh, your finances or your career and your life path life purpose i'm going to pull you some guidance from the life purpose deck and let's see what comes out for you cancel and as always always trust your own inner guidance yeah with any messages that come through mm, these two want to come out for you mm. So first up, you've pulled the healer card. So you have the ability to be a spiritual healer. If you so desire, you have the gift of healing. Um, it could also be in the medical field as well. Um, it's about sharing that gift of healing with others. Let me know if that resonates with you. Mm. You've also pulled the practice card, which is all about really raising your uh, level of confidence in your own skills and abilities, yeah, by practicing what it is that, uh, that you want to follow. All right, what else does Cancer need to know? True, want to come out for here. Oh, yeah. Not only pulled the healer card, you pulled energy healing. So uh, this can be any type of energy healing. Yeah? It's part of your life path, life purpose. It can also be very beneficial to yourself. Yeah, it could be just a personal interest as well. Mm. Oh, my goodness, I love this. You've got three cards about healing. Just saying. You've got the light and love card. Um... It's basically saying that your purpose is to bring divine healing, light, and love to this world. Wow. Wow. All right, I'm going to pull you one more. Mm. You've also pulled the builder card, which is, means that you get a deep sense of accomplishment from building things, yeah? So this is often just running with an idea and building something from scratch, yeah? Absolutely. All right, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. What is it that Cancer needs to know? Okay, so you pulled Vesta, the first one you pulled Vesta, which is about the home. So this is about, if there's been things like any turbulence going on at home, it's going to settle down. But it's also about possibly moving to a new home or your your home getting a healthy change in occupants. So someone new coming in. Not going to apply to everybody. 
I have to say, I've just moved, and honestly, my readings, it just for a couple of weeks, kept coming up with that card. Hmm. Not only uh, under the healer card, you've got Tamara guiding children. So part of your life path, life purpose can be, in fact, uh, inspiring, guiding and healing children in some way. So can also be your own children or someone else's children. Mm, of course, you've got so many cards around spirituality and healing work, yeah. You pull down a high priestess. You have divine knowledge that uh, you can share through spiritual teaching. Beautiful, beautiful. It's sitting right under polish your skills, by the way, in practice. So, mm. You just pulled Artemis, Guardian, which is, means you're divinely protected. You and your loved ones are divinely protected at this time. So if there's been anything worrying you, don't worry. Mm, gorgeous. You've also pulled your mana, golden opportunities. So doors are opening. So if your flow is being stuck, it's about to become unstuck, yeah? But it's also that when those opportunities uh, arise and come to you, don't be afraid to take them up, yeah? It's sitting right under the message for you bringing divine healing and light to this world. And under the builder card, you pulled endings and beginnings, Carly. So it's about releasing the old to let the new in. Yeah. Um, the message I'm getting here is your life path, life purpose. If you're going through a transition, transformation, we'll see what else comes up for you, particularly um, with the Crystal Oracle deck. Let's see what comes up for you. Crystal reading deck here. Yeah. Mm. Success. Awkward. Everything you've been doing to now is leading you to success. Keep taking the steps that you're guided to take in terms of moving forward. It is also sitting under your home cards. If you're thinking of buying a new home or moving to a new home, not only one are you, are you divinely protected, mm -hmm. but you'll also have success with it. All right, what else does Cancer need to know? Mm. You've got Rhodochrosite, which is acceptance, and uh, it's sitting under the healer card, the first one you pulled. It's also sitting under guiding children. To be honest, it's acceptance of uh, your skills, your talents, and the things that you so want to do from a heart space in terms of your life path, life purpose. All right, what else do you need to know, Cancer? Mm, beautiful. For those of you looking for love, you've just put the Master Teacher card for the Soul Connection Crystal in this deck, which is the Lovers card, right? So you are drawing to you and manifesting a soulmate connection if you're looking for love. If you're in a new relationship and you're wondering, is this the one? Hello. Well, one, always trust your heart space, what you're being guided, yeah, by your feelings, your intuition, your wisdom. Um, but if you are looking for love, it's coming in. It's coming in. It's sitting under Dana, High Priestess, so don't forget to do some manifesting, yeah? Mm. And trust your dreams. You pulled the Herkimer Diamond, so trust your ideas, your imagination, particularly with the Builder card that you also received. You don't discount your imagination. And don't let anybody naysay your ideas either, because you're on the right path. All right. What else do you need to know? Mm. Okay, you've got Malachite healing. So there's a little bit of healing for yourself to do. Um, I might pull a clarifier and see if we get a clarifier on what that healing is, yeah? Apart from that, you've got the endings and the beginnings cards. So it could just be letting go of the past a little bit. All right. You pulled fairy stone fertility. So the message I'm getting is if you've previously been holding yourself back from success, from following what your heart's desires is in terms of life path, life purpose, one, it's karmic. That is the message I'm getting. It's coming back from family influences of how you grew up. Scarcity consciousness is one message. 
um, perhaps a highly critical parent on one side or the other is the other message that uh, is very uncomfortable with stepping out of one of their own comfort zone and haven't done it. Um, and yet you're an entirely different being. Yeah, You are entirely unique and you have the courage, the skills and experience to follow your life path, life purpose. But the message that I'm getting is that you are held back by karmic ties and fears surrounding doing that. Yeah, that is the heart healing. Let me know if that resonates. Yeah, that's the message I've got coming through. Sit right under golden opportunities. Right next to dreams. All right, pull you one more. What else does Cancer need to know? Mm. Spiritual awakening. So it's about accepting your spirituality, stepping more into it, raising your vibration more, working on your spirituality, right? Because we've got so many cards here for being a spiritual healer, an energy healer, yeah? It's sitting under the Builder card. It's sitting under Kali, endings and beginnings. Um, it's about raising your vibration. When you do that, you're going to fire off on all levels, yeah? You're going to be so much stronger and courageous as well in following your life path, life purpose. All right, I'm going to pull you some specific guidance from the Energy Oracle deck. Let's see what comes up for you. What does Cancer need to know? Mm. Under success, you've got woman holding a coin. So if you're a woman, this is you. Follow your heart's path, your heart's desires, your soul light, yeah? And if you've been worrying about money, financial security, abundance, coming in yeah if you're a guy you could be connecting with this uh, individual this woman as per in terms of possibly a love interest or seeking out advice seeking out advice yeah in terms of your life path life purpose it's also under the home so perhaps the healthy change in occupants as you're moving in with your partner yeah mm, beautiful you pulled the magician in the mirror, so you've got everything within you to create the future that you want. Yeah, absolutely everything. You don't need to do more study. You've done everything you need to do. You just need to step into your path. Oh my God. Right next to that, you've got the world. You've got the world card. It's sitting under the soulmate card. It's sitting under high priestess and sitting right next to the magician in the mirror. You've got the world at your feet, Cancer. Should you so desire and decide to step onto your life path, life purpose, yeah? Or expand out into the world. Divinely supported at this time. Also got the guardian card. So if you're thinking about changing careers, you are protected. Very important to maintain your balance, yeah? Angel of balance. So managing your masculine, your feminine energies, um, your physical shape as well, your health and well-being, your spiritual balance as well. Beautiful reading, Cancer. May's going to be totally awesome for you. All right, what else do you need to know? Oh, my God, of course. Under golden opportunities, light and love, your purpose is to bring divine healing to the world. Fairy stone, which is all about your projects and ideas being blessed. You have cornucopia. You're in closer. Oh, take the light off it, yeah. Cornucopia, if you've not had this come out for you before it's success on all levels love, um, love romance wealth and abundance success in terms of your life path life purpose family friendship got it all coming in order for you to let that in you do need to be in a positive mindset yeah um, you're not gonna let that in if you're in a negative state of mind yeah and worrying it's not gonna come in Mm. under endings and beginnings when you let go of the past and you focus on your dreams and your goals you got the door to personal healing and happiness so if you've been going through stuff just know that you're coming out the other side yeah gorgeous gorgeous all right i'm gonna pull you one card from the uh kunyan deck which is really beautiful i'm getting the light coming through now so what does Cancer need to know in May? 
What is the message? Mm, holding on to it. Here we go. Ah, I've pulled. You've pulled the dance unveiling. Pull it up for you. Mm. Show it to you one more time. And what it says is, there is a situation in your life that is about to reveal itself with greater clarity. Just ignore the squeaking, is all I'm going to say. Can't do anything about it. We're going to take advantage of the energy out here, which is just amazing. All right, let's just ignore the squeakiness of that blind. Just like the sands shifting, the picture will soon be clearer and quite different to how it once appeared to you. The clarity will bring you great relief and confirmation of your, intu of your intuition. Be patient and allow the revelation to come to you at the perfect time. Often what we think we know is only a small part of the bigger picture. With some more information, what we think is the truth can shift and sometimes dramatically and reveal a completely different reality. Sometimes we really imagine a person, a situation, a place to be all that we think or feel that it is, only to find that it is not quite that way after all, after some time and involvement has passed. There is an important situation in your life right now that is still unfolding and you have yet to perceive it fully. It is safe for you to be patient and curious and trust what you feel is unfolding now. Don't rush to set things in motion, to form a structure or even to make things concrete until you've had a chance to be clearer about the situation or process. There will be time in the near future when you realise this great cosmic dance of Kun Yin has unfolded and the veil has lifted. At the time, you will realise that you were seeing much more clearly and accurately than you have previously been able to do so. Only then will an appropriate course of action or non-action be clear to you. Trying to apply effort or create results before the time will not cause the dance unveiling to unfold more quickly. Be patient and trust, beloved. Kun Yin, dance of divine grace, will touch this part of your life and bring you clarity. Go into your heart and listen to the music of the dance. This oracle is also confirmation that something you have recently perceived or will soon perceive is accurate. The perception maybe has been something of a surprise, a shock or a stretch for you and perhaps not quite comfortable with its implications as yet. And so you are doubting the veracity of your vision. Be patient and allow yourself to get used to the new truths that are revealing themselves to you now. The dance of Kun Yin's grace brings only revelation, but also opportunity and resolution. And there's an affirmation in what it says is, Beloved Kun Yin, I now let go of any fear that would distort my perception and prevent me from beholding the highest levels of truth, which I am capable of perceiving. Help me now, beloved one with your divine dance of mercy and compassion that the confusion may clear and distortion may be released and the truth be revealed with grace and simplicity. Unveil the truth through your dance of grace, beloved. Thank you. Om mani padme hum. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Always trust your intuition, yeah, always. All right, I'm gonna pull you one last card, which is your crowning energy from the Rumi Oracle deck. All right, what else does Cancer need to know? Ah, you pulled resplendent with grace. Beautiful. Now, the messages can be a little bit long, right? But bear with them because they're so beautiful. This one is a little bit long. I'll show it to you one more time. Gorgeous colours on it. And what it says, Cancer, is greetings from my heart to you who are always with me. Hidden inside is the heart. You are the compass of my life. My course is your way no matter where I go. You exist everywhere and in, and in everything, always watching over me. My soul brightens in darkness when I speak your name. Far beyond the body, there is an opening from my heart into yours. Through that opening, I send you secret messages like the moonlight. I polish the mirror of my heart to be your reflection. 
I make my ear the receiver for the tenderness of your words. You are in the ear, you are in the mind. You are in every burning heart. What am I saying? You are I. This is the way to describe you, Rumi. Your divine grace clothes me in robes of sky blue and blood red. As a shimmering galaxy of compassion within the field of which no being is excluded, the darkness of night is illuminated and all creatures are bathed in the fine golden hue of your presence. There is only beauty beheld now, for there is nothing that is not of your artistry, of your divine heart, hand, generous with its grace. Is it difficult to see your magnificence? Without a mirror the size of the galaxy, how could you possibly witness all that you are? You must just catch glimpses of your truth now and then. Oh, if you could only see yourself as I see you, in all your glorious fullness of being. You are swathed in robes of grace, so light and freeing they do not weigh you down, and yet so luscious and full that you cannot help but stir the movement of all creation as you step this way and that. Of course it matters not to grace whether you see or do not see, for grace simply is without witnessing being required. Yet you might live rather differently, my beloved, should you realise that you are not only worthy of grace, but actually dripping with it, saturated with divine presence so rich it leaks out of you and creates sunlight to pool at your holy feet. Oh yes, you are resplendent in holiness and sanctity. Should you come to know this as I do, you would take each step with awe and reverence. You would decide that not a thing in this world could be classed as mundane and decide with bold fervour that you are living in godliness and must create your world through choices that honour love. No fear, even the most stubbornly persistent, would be able to withstand the sight of your magnificent beating heart, so wild with life. In the sight of that wild heart, you would have to call all your fears close, soothing them with your words of love like riled children in need of tenderness and quiet. Then when rested, you would wake them from their slumber and they would arise as falcons ready to soar to the height of your most daring vision. Hunting for life to feed them, they will ensure the ample grace pulsing within your heart has its chance to come to life in the world and serve love. This oracle comes to you with a message. You may be wondering if you can attain this next stage of growth in your life. You are well equipped to do so. No matter what you might believe about the situation, circumstances or others involved, even yourself. You have within your soul possession more than enough grace to see you through anything. You are bold enough to envision for yourself or for any vision you feel life has bestowed upon you. So pray through unconditional love to access all that you are, to be supported by those beings that love you without condition. Pray to realise you are so drenched in sacred grace that the well of your being is full. All that is needed to nurture you on to the next step of your life path is within you now. Success is yours, but you must believe in your ability, your readiness and your capacity to take this next phase of your journey. How could it be otherwise, for you are at one with grace? Beautiful. All right, to finish your reading, there is a sacred honouring ritual. And what it says is, place your hands on your heart. Visualise, sense, intend or feel that you're being bathed in a golden light. It may rise up from the earth and descend from you above you, but all around you is golden light. It is before you, behind you, on either side of you, above you and below you creating a field of golden energy all around you. It may be soft or it may crackle with electricity. Just be with it, whatever it is, whether you feel it or see it clearly or not, or cannot imagine anything at all. No matter what appears to happen or not happen, it's perfect for you at this time. When you have passed several moments connecting with this golden light, finish your honouring ritual with this prayer. Say aloud, Rumi, brother of my soul, who loves me without condition. Bless me with the confidence, trust and wisdom I need to take my next steps and to accept the grace already bestowed upon me in abundance that will continue to be given so as I may grow. May I believe in myself just as you believe in me. Through mercy and unconditional love, so be it. Bow your head to your hands in prayer position.
you have finished your sacred honoring ritual. Beautiful, Cancer. Some very clear messages here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped. If you liked this reading, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've already subscribed, you're amazing. Don't forget the uh, special on the personal reading. Link is on this video and in the description box below. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.